One of the reason, things that uh, people misunderstand about Los Angeles is they have the idea that it's a desert. And Los Angeles is not a desert. It's a Mediterranean type climate. We actually get more, on average, more rainfall per year than deserts do by all standard definitions. So people don't see the, the, the wet things essentially on the landscape because we've basically gotten rid of them. And instead we have a system that takes water when it falls as rainfall and conveys it to the ocean uh, basically as quickly as possible. That has its benefits in terms of protecting from floods, but it also means that all that water that historically was going into the groundwater and feeding those streams and feeding those wetlands uh, is not used for any of those purposes anymore. While climate change and drought are definitely pieces to this puzzle, because our infrastructure in Los Angeles disrupts the water cycle, we have to keep importing more and more water. In Los Angeles, it's probably something like 80% of our water uh, goes out to the Santa Monica Bay. Some of it's reused, but the majority of it is all discharged in the ocean where then it mixes with salt water and it makes it very difficult to then recover. Most of that water gets cleaned to a very high level because we have regulations. To me, that's a waste of a resource because it's already pretty clean. Why not just get it to that next step where it can be drinkable as imported sources are depleted, we'll need to look to other sources of clean, drinkable water. The final piece to the puzzle is wastewater recycling, which leads us to the next challenge. Desalination, it feels like the silver bullet to a lot of people. And one of the things that people don't realize about desalination is it takes a lot of energy to get molecules of salt out of water. Desalination plants have a certain impacts. At this point, they, they are the most costly alternative. And because they are energy intensive, they are more uh, uh, carbon intensive. So we have to worry about that from the perspective of climate. One of the approaches that, that people have to try to increase our uh, ability to use local water resources is to uh, slow the water down. And that means capturing water during rainfall events, getting it to places where the water can infiltrate down into those aquifers. And by infiltration and going through layers of soil, uh, it does actually clean the water. I think that we have to get a lot more serious about water recycling. We have the technologies to really clean that to a potable level and quite honestly we're drinking water that's been recycled over and over and over again over thousands of years. We will have to rely on certainly conservation but also multiple uh, sources of water. One of the challenges that we face is to figure out ways in which technological innovations can uh, reduce the price and also make these alternative uh, uh, sources more uh, desirable uh, for the public.